Typhoon Aghon slightly intensifies over the Philippine Sea. And for more updates, we have Pagasa weather forecaster Robert Badrina joining us on the line. Good morning, Robert, and thank you for taking our call. Thank you and uh, good morning. This is the latest on our uh, tropical uh, cyclone or typhoon Agon, which continues to move northeastward over the Philippine Sea, east of Aurora Province. So as of 7 a.m., the center of the eye of typhoon Agon was estimated over the coastal waters of Kasiguran Aurora. It has a maximum sustained winds of 140 kilometers per hour near the center and a gustiness of up to 170 kilometers per hour. Presently, it's moving at uh, north, northeastward at 10 kilometers per hour. As of 8 a.m., still the tropical cyclone wind signal is in effect in the areas of, uh, for signal number two, for uh, the southeastern portion of Isabela and also at the northern portion of Aurora. Signal number one for the northeastern and southern portion of Isabela Eastern portion of Quirino, southern portion of Nueva Vizcaya, the rest of Aurora, the northern portion of Quezon, including Polillo Island, as well as the northwestern portion of Camarines Norte, including Calaguas Island. Okay. Meanwhile, gale warning is still in effect, particularly in the eastern section of Isabela, including Aurora and Quezon. In these areas, we're expecting uh, that the uh, that it will be dangerous for a small sea craft vessel to venture out because of the effect of Typhoon Agon. So we hope to avoid or we are reminding, especially the mariners, to avoid that part of our country because of the effect of Typhoon Agon. Meanwhile, for the rest of the country, we can expect a generally uh, fair weather with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms uh, due to localized uh, rain showers and thunderstorms. Some areas in Palawan will experience uh, rains caused by the southwesterly winds, so expect some possibilities of uh, moderate up to sometimes heavy rains in that area. Mm. Robert, you did mention no, Typhoon Aghon is moving uh, northeastward, but can we still expect uh, Typhoon Aghon to reach the super typhoon category? As of now, um, well, as of now, that uh, it's still... Um, it's possible. Since, uh, yeah, since Typhoon Agon is still uh, over the Philippine Sea, we can expect that it will intensify. But uh, as of now, no, again, based on our data, uh, there's a low chance for that mm -hmm. because of the environmental conditions. Mm -hmm. And Robert, we did experience heavy rains over the metro and, of course, all over the country. But uh, we just wanted to clarify, itong bagyong Agon ba, mas maraming ulan uh, nadala kaysa hangin? Um, it started as a tropical depression, so if we're going to compare the wind and uh, rains, it, it brings much rains no, compared to, to its wind. But as it moves uh, now over the waters of Aurora or eastern part of Aurora over the Philippine Sea, uh, it's starting to build up the its wind uh, uh, mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. And Robert, until when can we expect Typhoon Aghon to affect the country? As of now, uh, the, the Typhoon Agon will exit the Philippine area or will move or leave the Philippine area of responsibility by Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But as early as now, we are already observing that the, the effect of Typhoon Agon is already lessened. Uh, it's only concentrated in the eastern section of northern and central Luzon. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Robert. I also just wanted to check the status of the dams um, here in the Philippines, no? Uh, particularly Angat Dam. It was, you know, last week when it was it went below the minimum operating level. So has it uh, been able to recover already? As of now, we're still waiting for the data uh, to to make sure of the level of the dam. So, but we're expecting uh, that there will be at least some increase uh, in terms of the. Uh, water because of the effect of the typhoon Agon. Although mm -hmm. whether it's significant or not, we still need to wait for the data to enter, mm -hmm. to be collected. And Robert, lastly, are we still monitoring any other weather disturbances? Um, Pag-asa, may binabantayan pa bang ibang sama ng panahon in the coming days? Oh, yeah. As of now, we are no longer um, monitoring based on the recent data that we collected in any parts of our country, whether inside or outside the Philippine responsibility. So most probably, the Typhoon Agon uh, would be the last 
tropical cyclone for this month of May. But on uh, this coming in June, we're expecting at least two tropical cyclones to enter or form within the Philippine area of responsibility. All right, then we need to prepare for that um, next month. For now, thank you very much, weather forecaster Robert Badrina.